Come and check out some quick and easy makes that I made to vacation to Barbados. YouTube, I'm Crystal of CrystalSoulsAndStuff.com. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here to share with you some new makes that I made for a recent trip that I made with my husband to Barbados. And so um, my husband and I haven't been on a, a trip in quite a while, so we decided to go ahead and do a trip with just us this time. We usually um, we took the kids to the beach earlier this year, uh, earlier this summer, but we wanted to go ahead and do do another trip with just us. And so we decided to um, go to the Caribbean. So we were deciding on where we wanted to go. And I said, why don't we try Barbados? Because I have a friend that lives there. So my good friend Kira of Island Socialist li is, lives in Barbados. And so I just we decided to go ahead and go to a resort in Barbados. And while we were there, we decided to, we went ahead and visited Kira there in Barbados. So I'm going to get to um, <laughs> meeting Kira in a minute. So um, anyway, I wanted to share with you some of the makes that I made in anticipation of our trip. Trip. So I made four things in anticipation of our trip to Barbados. So I made a dress, a romper, a swimsuit, as well as a swimsuit cover-up. So let me go ahead and tell you about the dress first. Dress that I made is Simplicity. It's from the pattern Simplicity 8912. And this is a really easy sewing pattern. All of these sewing patterns are very um, easy. Not a lot of pattern pieces because I just did not want to do anything too complicated um, in anticipation of um, the trip. So um, I decided to go ahead and pick choose patterns that didn't have a whole lot of pattern pieces to it. So the first thing that I decided to sew up is Simplicity 8912. And that is this pattern right here. And it's a really easy pattern with not a lot of pattern pieces. You have your front pattern piece cut twice, your back pattern piece cut twice, as well as your pockets, and then um, uh, a facing as well as um, bias binding for the underarm. So not a lot of pattern pieces and really a really easy um, sew, quick and easy sew. So if you're out of time, this is a good pattern that you can go ahead and sew up for vacation. And so this sewed up pretty very quickly. So I sewed it up in one of my most recent fabrics that I showed you in my Morex fabric haul. And this is it. And I used this really beautiful yellow and white um, rayon crinkle fabric. And it has these beautiful flowers on it. So I went with um, this pattern for, for my dress. And it was really easy to sew. It has a nice um, facing on the front. And then it has the, the sleeves are, well, the sleeve holes are um, bound with bias binding. And I created my own bias binding using um, my little bias. This is a 12 made of 12 millimeter um, bias binding um, little tool and it gives you half inch bias binding and so I went on ahead and did that for the armholes just so if it flips out it can all match but you can use self facing I mean self you know pre-made bias binding if that's what you want to do it'd be just as easy and so it was really easy to sew up. I did go ahead and I omitted the back uh, seam in the back just so I could keep the print flowing. But the pattern does call for you to cut it twice and you would have um, just a seam down the middle. But I went on ahead and just cut it on the fold and I added um, 5 a seam allowance to account for that. And then there are also pockets. But I omitted the pockets because when I, I put them on, but when I put it on, it was a little bit too sheer right here um, in the hip area and so you can see the pocket really well just because it's a lighter color and so I went on ahead and took out the pockets but other than that it was such an easy easy pattern I highly recommend it I sewed it up in a size medium without any pattern changes and um, I just and for me the the shorter length kind of hits me right at knee, at, at knee length. And so I like where it hit me. I'm only 5'1", so you might want to adjust the length for your own height. But it was, really, it was a really simple pattern, and I suggest this. And this is a perfect, perfect pattern for vacation sewing. Because if you if you made this in a nice cotton, this view um, A is kind of more of a caftan style. And I think that would be really easy to do, as well as C has a nice little split that she's wearing um, in the front. So, and that gives a um, really elegant 
um, beachy view. And you even see she has a, a beach bag. So this is a perfect vacation sewing pattern. Next pattern that I sewed up is McCall's $77.55. And this pattern has been reissued. And a new sewing pattern number is McCall's $80.69. And this is a really popular romper um, pattern. And it's a, one of the learn to sew patterns. Talisha of um, Creativity by T did a great review on this. And she did the... Um, the pants version, I believe she did view B with the nice, um, with the curved, um, with the curved hem on the jumpsuit. But I decided to go with view A, which is the shorter romper, because I, I only had three yards of this fabric. And so I decided to go ahead and do the romper, um, just so I could have enough fabric. And just because it's hot. So <laughs> I wanted to have a little short set instead of pant, a pant set for um, vacation. So I sewed up a size medium in this really pretty kind of braided style rayon um, crinkle fabric from Morex Fabrics. And there aren't a lot of pattern pieces with this pattern as well. So you just have your front, front piece and that's cut twice. You have your back piece and that is cut twice. And then you just have your drawstring and then the pockets. So really easy. Um, this is just folded over on the top right here to create a little casing for the drawstring. I did go ahead and raise up the arm sleeves just a little um, because that's been a common issue. I've heard about this pattern is that it drops. And so I, um, I just added a little bit of paper to the side so I could raise up the armhole so I wouldn't I wouldn't have a whole lot of underarm gaping. So that's the only pattern change that I made and I did go ahead and use the pockets for this one. So I really um like it. And so it's really a, a really easy pattern. It does um go ahead, it closes in the back with strings. I tied a knot in the back so that it won't slip through the little loops on the back. And so that's what I did in order to prevent it from coming loose. You could also add some beads or something if you wanted to even add a little bit more flair to it. But if I do run across some beads that are wide enough, I'll add that to the back as well. But I do like how this turned out. It was really a really easy pattern. Not a lot of pattern pieces, quick sew. I also made the belt that goes with it and that um to go with, with it. And you can add the belt to any of the views for the pattern. So this is another fun, quick and easy make that you can make for a vacation So, So if you don't have a lot of time to go ahead and make something when you're going out of town, this is a quick and easy pattern to make. And I sewed up a size medium and I didn't make any pattern changes except for the armhole. So you do want to go ahead if you can, um, just add some extra fabric around the curved area of the pattern so that um you can raise up the armhole just a bit. Okay, so the next thing I asked that I sewed up for the trip was a swimsuit. So this is my first time ever making a swimsuit, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I did make, have some little bumps along the way, but overall, I think it came out really nicely. And I used Simplicity 1116. This is an older Mimi G style pattern. Um, and I, I sewed up View C, and I've had this pattern since probably when it came out. But I've had this pattern for years, and I just have been too nervous to go ahead and sew up a swimsuit, but I love how it turned out. There aren't a lot of pattern pieces to it. Um, it's just a lot of steps to it. So this was a pretty easy sew, and it comes with a tutorial. And I watched the tutorial all the way through, step by step, to go ahead and make this swimsuit. So I just pretty much um, sewed this totally by the tutorial. I did and only looked at the directions a couple times. Um, but for the most part, I just followed Mimi G's tutorial to make this. So the fabric that I use for this pattern is, is um, a turquoise uh, swimsuit fabric that I picked up from Joanne Fabrics. And for the lining, I use um, a mesh, a black mesh. And she says in her video that you can use either, you can use the main fabric as your lining fabric, or you can use the contrasting fabric or a new fabric, or she also said you can use mesh. And so I use this black mesh, and that is also from Joann's, and it's just like a, a sheer kind of uh, knit, stretchy knitted material, and it gives you a little bit of um, 
a little bit of security and it helps to kind of pull you in just a little bit. Um, not a lot. It's not a very um, strong, it's not Spanx level pull, pulling in, but it gives you a little bit um it does hold you in just a tiny bit. And so that's what I use for the lining and I'm happy with how it turned out. So this view has a nice pretty flounce on the front and then it has um, a casing on the side for you to add some ruching. And then it also, and then you just tack on this bow. So the bow doesn't go through the ruching. So it's not adjustable in that way, but it does gives you a, give you a nice little flare. I sewed up a size 14 at the top and then I graded out to an 18 for my hips and I'm happy with the sizing of it. View, um, the way the pattern pieces were laid out, you, you will probably, if you have to grade between sizes, you might have to trace, trace your pattern and then, um, kind of put it on top of each other to, to in order to grade your sizes. Fortunately, my two sizes were on the same pattern pieces for the front piece. So I was able to grade between a 14 down to an 18 without having to trace the pattern. But I mean, you should have traced your patterns. I don't always do that. But um, anyway, that's something um, you should take note of that. Some of the pattern pieces had like a six and an eight on it and some of them had a 12 and a 16 on it. So if you needed to go from a 14 to a 16, you would need to like trace your two different pattern pieces and then merge them onto a, like a new pattern piece in order to blend your sizes for this pattern. So that was the only thing I didn't like about that because that, but for view C, the 14 and the 18 were on the same pattern piece. So I didn't have to do that for the, for the pattern. So again, I did view C. The only places I got mixed up, I did accidentally get the back straps. There is a crisscross in the back. There's a crisscross in the back and I got them a little bit twisted when I was um, making it. And so I had to pull it out and then I had to re-sew it. So it's a little bump right here from where I had to re-sew, um, had to take it out from between the lining and go back and get the uncross the twist the twist that I had for the crisscross back style. But um, that was the only pet problem that I had. That was the only problem that I had sewing this up. So if you sew this, make sure you just double, triple, quadruple check that you don't twist the um, straps in the back. Make sure they're not like twisted because mine was like totally like twisted the wrong way. And I was just so bad because I thought I checked it, but I guess I just didn't check it correctly, but just triple check. <laughs> for the back crisscross. So I would um, sew this again and I would sew up view A. View A has some side ruching like on the sides and it and there's it's a surplus so it crisscrosses in the front. So I do like that view as well. Um, but I would have to definitely have to um, trace out all the pattern pieces to view A, to do view A because the my, my two sizes were on um, two different pieces so they weren't all together for me to blend them but i do like this pattern and there are there is it's still if you still have this pattern this the tutorial for it is still up on youtube and mimi g does go step by step by step for how to sew this um swimsuit and i really like how mine turned out so the last pattern that i sewed for my vacation was Simplicity 1100. And this is a really old pattern. Um, I can't even tell what year it's from. But I don't think it's, it's from, this pattern is from 2015. So this is part, this is when I really first started getting into sewing. And so it's a really old pattern, but I decided to go ahead and do this pattern because I wasn't sure for this fabric, that I used, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a dress or a cover up. So that, that's why I didn't do the cover up that comes with the Mimi G pattern. I just decided to do a cover up that could also be kind of used as a dress. And so I found this, I looked through my pattern section. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about this pattern. This pattern is one pattern piece, one, one pattern piece. And you don't need any kind of closures or zippers or, um, tapes bias tapes or anything just one pattern piece and it's just one kind of l-shaped pattern piece and then here is your dart right here so there's just one like um dart it's a long dart so you start narrow at the top it gets and then it comes it gets wider here and then goes back narrow so kind of like you would do for a back dart 
So there's just two darts on the side on the sides, and then it's it's connected in the back, and this is the back where you wear it. And then the top straps are folded in and pulled out to make the straps. So really easy pattern, one pattern piece. You put it on is where the curve is. That's the underarm area. So it curves under here where the dart is. So the dart is on the side, not the back. So, um, but it's towards the back. So under, under the arm is where the um, back darts are. And so you would line it up where it connects in the back, come around this way, and then it comes around again back this way. So it wraps like that, and then you just tie it in the back. Great pattern for you to go ahead and sew for a vacation. So if you can find this pattern, Simplicity 1100, I highly recommend it. It was one of the old Jiffy remake patterns from the 70s, and so this is such an easy pattern. So there are two length options. You can sew it shorter like in View A, and that's what I did, View A, and then or you can sew it longer with um, view B, which is what the um, model is wearing in the pattern piece. So I sewed up a medium. It does kind of gape out a little bit on me in the hip area. And so if I sew this again, I will sew a large instead, just because it could be more of a dress and less of a cover up more. I mean, it's still a cover up and a dress, but I could wear it just as a dress if I made it a little bit bigger. And I guess I could probably take out the, the darts as well give more space so yeah so this is a really so if you can find this pattern again it's simplicity 1100 it's a pretty old pattern from 2015 but if you either have it already and you haven't sewn it i advise you to go ahead and sew it because this is a great pattern um one piece pattern so this is a great um pattern to sew so but if i can find the um links on etsy or amazon i'll go ahead and leave those in the description box for you to go ahead and check those out and so um but I do recommend it. It's really easy. It's just one pattern piece. So this is a great, quick and easy um, cover up to go with your swimwear. Or if you do have this pattern, go ahead and just make the um, this this version because this is a wrap skirt, um, a wrap skirt version of a cover up that comes with Simplicity Eleven Sixteen. So. So those are the makes that I made, the new makes that I uh, made for my trip to Barbados. So here's some pics and twirls of me wearing them. And stay tuned. I do have a little mini fabric haul to share with you right after, the, after these pics and twirls. <laughs> of all the new things that I made for my trip to Barbados. And now let me show you some fabric that I picked up while I was down in Barbados. So Kira and her husband were so gracious to um, my husband and I when we went, um, we went when she came to pick us up from the hotel. And so she took us all over Barbados. Her and her husband, her husband drove us around all over the island and we went downtown. And one of the places that we went to was a uh, beds fabrics. And so I picked up two items from a beds. Actually, Kira gifted me these two lovely fabrics. And so the first fabric that I picked up is this beautiful rayon and it has these lovely gorgeous flowers on it so they look kind of like poppies I guess would be the flower I'm not sure <laughs> about the type of flower it is but it is so beautiful um, maybe hyacinth 
I don't know, but they look like some look like beautiful, beautiful flowers. They're red and pink. And I just love this beautiful, large floral, I guess we'll say medium floral print. Gorgeous. And it is so nice and lightweight. And I picked up three yards of this fabric. It might have been meters, probably meters, because they go by the um, metric system. So three meters of this beautiful fabric. And I just love this. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to make a dress with it. I'm not just, I'm just not sure what dress I'll make with it. And then the second thing that um, Kira picked up, um, purchased for me. So this one is a beautiful kind of linen. I think it's a linen rayon blend. And it is this gorgeous green, like a neon green, but it has these beautiful flowers on it. So it's a really larger, it's a larger scale floral print. And I just love, love, love this print. It's gorgeous. And I'm thinking about making um, the Chalk and Notch Marcel dress with this, but I'm not 100% sure, but that is my thought for that dress. And the other one, I'm not sure um, what I want to, what I want to make with it, but probably a dress or a really um, voluminous top with that. Um, with the red and yellow, red and red and pink with this, well, with this. And so for this one, I haven't decided which pattern I want to make for it yet, but I do probably want to make a dress or a really kind of voluminous sleeve um, top with it. I can't decide something like maybe a baby doll dress, something like that, but something nice and cool and summery for this beautiful print. And then this one, I'm thinking about the Mar Marcel dress because I've had that pattern quite a while now <laughs> and I want to go ahead and make um I think that would be cute for this really pretty fabric so those are um the two fabrics that I picked up also while I was in Barbados I wore a couple things that I already made um before and I saw I brought some um older older things older makes with me as well and so when you go um out of town make sure you just go ahead and pack up your older stuff too you, you can wear those as well you don't have to make everything new when you go on a trip so, so I also wore a few things that I already had in my wardrobe that I didn't that I didn't make brand new for the trip so I wore the love notions tempo dress which has some t sharing in the back and that was an easy dress that you could just throw on and I wore and it was in a denim um well a lightweight chambray um fabric that I have from Joann's and so it's really lightweight but the dress is really long so that's perfect in case so my legs wouldn't get cold but it was sleeveless so I put a little jean jacket with it and so and I wore some sneakers because we had a tight uh tight um tight um gap between our first flight and our second flight because we left out of Baltimore and we switched in Charlotte and so um we only had like a little hour um gap in between flights and so I'm glad I wore my sneakers with it and I could we could we could hustle to our next plane so I did wear that down and so I enjoyed and it was a perfect thing to wear down and I had my jacket on I was able to take it off when I got too warm and then um when I went to hang out with Kira I wore my Megan Nielsen shorts I love those shorts um I made they were inspired by um I think a Dolce & Gabbana pair of shorts that I um that I saw on Pinterest. And so I wore those shorts along with the Itch to Stitch Lago tank to hang out with Kira because those are my favorite shorts. And we, um, it was perfect because we went to a, um, a cave. And so it was good that, um, it was called an animal cave, uh, animal and flower cave. Um, and so we went to a cave and so it was perfect to wear, um, for that adventure because I wanted to wear shorts. I wasn't sure about wearing a dress to a cave. <laughs> And so I wore those shorts there and then a tank top, then my Lago tank. So that was perfect for that. And so I also wore like the my, one of my favorite dress, knit dresses, which is the Rosie Payne and Laura top and dress pattern. And I just love that dress. It's just a, basically a t-shirt dress, but it has a high, a little bit, a bit of a high low hem. And I just love that dress. And so I wore that out one day while we were there. And then I also wore um, my Maeve skirt. An Ogden cami set that um, I made for one of the So Mexico Mother's Day challenges. So I wore that as well. And so 
I was able to incorporate um, some things I already had in my wardrobe along with these new makes into what I wore during the trip. So don't forget about the things you already made when go ahead, going ahead and pack up your things. And you can um, go ahead and incorporate those things into your um, vacation plans. And so anyway, here are some more pics of the trip. So we had a, an amazing time down um, in Barbados. We just had a great time. The weather was nice. Um, it was just beautiful and we ate well. <laughs> Gonna have to do some exercise after all of this. But anyway, we had a great time. And so I just wanted to go ahead and share with you all of those, um, the, the, um, what I wore, um, that um, I, I wanted to share with you what I wore, what I made, and what I picked up while I was in um, Barbados, as well as some pics with my good friend, Kira of Island Socialist. And if you aren't already following her, go ahead and follow her here on YouTube, as well as on Instagram. She's a, a super talented sewist, and um, we had a great time, and her husband, and uh, she and her husband were great hosts um, for us to go visit the island. We got to see everything. And so it was just a really fun time. Um, anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you all today. And I hope you all are doing well. And, and until next time, take care. Bye.